Hey guys, uh, I just had a quick tip for you. As I was filming the content for this week, I realized how important the concept of level matching is. Uh, now there's something called the Fletcher Munson effect, and uh, this is an effect where uh, at louder volumes you hear more low end. Uh, there's actually a shift in frequencies as well, uh, which is why I created kind of my old classic episode of uh, recording vocals without headphones to get better pitch control for them. Um, but this is really today about being able to make judgments between A and B or disengaged or engaged or no compression versus with compression. And I, you know, in filming the episode, I realized how important it was. Um, I wasn't really familiar with this piece of equipment. I didn't know, okay, you know, is the, the output supposed to be at 12 o'clock or maybe 2 o'clock? What's normal? I, I don't know. Um, where does the compressor kick in? Does it compress all the way through the range of the knob or does it start at about maybe 10 o'clock? Um, I don't know either. But what I did is the first step is to uh, just turn the device off. This could be anything. Okay, this could be plugins, really anything. Is go ahead and just turn it off. See what the, the levels are and then engage whatever you're trying to, to add in. Okay, so for this, I just kind of noticed my levels. I noticed, oh wow, that's actually pretty loud. So I'll need a pad on the DI going in uh, on the preamp. Uh, so I, I went ahead and added the pad. Now that is kind of my standard. Uh, then from here, I went ahead and engaged it. And then I noticed where it was. It was actually pretty soft. So then I realized that, okay, this output is actually just attenuation. Um, which that makes sense, you know, it's not, I wasn't expecting like an amp or something, you know, built in. Uh, so that makes sense. So unity gain is basically all the way to the right. Okay. So there's kind of a, a little tidbit of what I'm learning about the gear just by comparing the volume levels here. Uh, and then uh, sensitivity or the amount of compression, I, I realized that it's actually compressing um, really all the way down. This probably means that I have a little bit too much gain coming into the pedal. Now, uh, for this, I really didn't mind. I, I don't really care. Um, more gain is actually kind of helpful when you're really trying to smash something up. Uh, so I didn't mind, but that was just something to note. I would have never known that had I, um, you know, been all crazy and you know disengaging and engaging the pedal and having to mess with volume. I wouldn't have gotten a clear representation of just one variable. I would have had multiple variables to mess with. And on top of that, if you hear something louder, you it actually sounds better. Uh, it's it's an effect of the, the human ear, and you can't make a clear judgment of it. So really, this is this is important. Okay, this is important. Uh, whether it's a track, whether it's uh, this microphone versus that microphone, you always want to take advantage of a tool called volume. Okay, and so physical volume in the room is really important. If it's too loud, turn it down a little bit, and you can hear a little bit better. And then from there, go ahead and make uh, you know make your changes. Change up a mic. Um, turn something on, whatever it may be, but try to get that volume as consistently as possible. And if you can, do it so, you know, that, you know, automatically it's set to the right volume. So every time you just click, it's the same volume. It makes your life a whole lot easier. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, maybe questions about the Fletcher Munson effect or how to listen in a room. Um, I really want to kind of dive deeper into this issue. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions about listening in a room, comparing um, effects to um, dry signals, anything like that. I'd really love to open up uh, for questions below in the comments. I'll be hanging out there. I'll see you.